Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use takes for video in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with four video files, and I want to put it together using pieces from each. Now with video, we obviously can't see all of them at the same time, so we're going to have to choose. And in Reaper, the lower track in the arrangement window is the video we're going to see. So if I play it now, we're going to see video four. And if I mute it, we're going to see video three. Or video two. Or video one. So the lowest track in the arrangement window is the video we're going to see. So to create a master track, we probably add one at the bottom right here. Just double click it and move the video files down when we want those pieces to be used. Now this process is very useful with multiple video files, maybe some A roll and B roll, and even more useful for multiple camera angles where we're using maybe two, three, or four different angles covering the same subject. And we want to jump very quickly from the different cameras for the final video. But like I said, to do this, we probably cut pieces from up here and drag them down to this track. Maybe we want to start with video four, just play it, pause it when we want to switch to a different video and split it by typing S, grab this piece and drag it down, and that's the video we're going to see. Maybe the next section we want to switch to video three, just split it, play it, pause it where we want to stop, split it again, and drag this piece to the bottom. And just keep doing it through the whole file. Maybe video two for here, split it, split it again, and drag it to the bottom, and keep going through our project. Split it, play it, hit pause, and split it again, and drag this piece down here. And now I can play it all back, and we're only going to see the video on this track, like this. But like I said, this is the most obvious way of doing this, but it's not the best. My personal preference is to use takes instead. Let me show you. Let's undo all this, and instead of creating another track, let's implode all the video files into takes. Let's marquee select all of them like this, right click, go to take, and go down here and choose import items across tracks into takes. And if we choose this, it puts all the videos onto one track as takes. So we could delete these. Let's make this bigger. And we can see. Video one is here, video two, three, and four, or as many as we're using. And we could switch very quickly with keyboard shortcuts. Hit the T key to jump to the next take, or hit Shift T to go back to the previous take. So it's a lot quicker to audition and switch different camera angles from A roll to B or C roll, or multiple camera angles on the fly. So let's say we want to start with video one, just play it, pause where we want to switch, hit S to split it, and then we can switch to a different take or video just like this right away. 
maybe two, three, or four. Let's choose two and play it until we want to switch. Hit pause, hit S to split it. And then we could choose a different take or video file. Maybe three or four. Let's choose three and keep going through the project. Splitting and choosing a different take or different video at that point. Now we can play it back and it's going to play the different takes we chose. It's a much quicker way of choosing different video files at those moments. And we could still change it afterwards. Maybe you want to switch to video three over here. Just select it. We hit T to try out different pieces just by clicking or using the keyboard shortcuts on the fly. And we could also redo our edits by putting our cursor right here and just moving them to change where the files switch. But as you can see, right now we're using hard edits where they switch immediately. We could also switch them with fade ins or fade outs. Let's undo this. Now, to get this to work and respond to fade ins and fade outs, or even crossfades, we need to add a plugin to this track. Go to our effects and just choose the video processor. And we'll choose the preset item fades affect video. We need to add this for our fade ins and fade outs or crossfades to change what we see with video. Close it. And now let's go to our preferences. And we'll go over here on the project to media item defaults. And we can choose to create automatic fade in and fade out for new items. Now I have it set to 500 milliseconds, which is a half a second fade in or fade out. Obviously you could change it for your taste or we could tweak it later. So with that option turned on, let's play it with this one selected. Pause it and hit split. And it splits it, but it creates a fade out and a fade in right here. Let's switch takes to take two or video two and do the same thing throughout the project. Hit S to split it. And now it's going to fade out and fade in on each edit we created, or each switching from the different cameras or video files in our project. And again, we could tweak our edits just like this, or change the size of our fade ins or our fade outs, just like that. And we could also create crossfades on the fly. Let's undo this again. And this time in the preferences, we'll choose this option over here, overlap and crossfade items when splitting. And again, I set this to 500 milliseconds which is going to create a half a second crossfade. So let's do that again, but this time let's do it on the fly, which means we can hit split while we're playing the file and it's going to split in those sections. And now we could choose different files for each section. Video one, video two, and so on.
And if we play it back, it's going to crossfade from each video to the other. And we can tweak it by holding down the shift key like this. And also change the crossfade length like this. Make a big one and a small one. And it's going to look like this. And again, we could switch our takes even after we've adjusted our fades. Just click them or hit the keyboard shortcut for the different video files in our project. And keep in mind, we can always change the timing of our pieces or the individual takes just by holding down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just dragging the item or take to change the timing of just that take, making it a lot easier to fine tune our video. So that's pretty much it. That's using takes for video in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.